it is quite a surreal thought to think that it all started with one sheet of paper over 12 years ago. Um, I'm just so grateful that I managed to find out about origami then, to discover it, to experience it, to start to make things on my very first day. I picked up a sheet of printer paper made Rob's World's Ninja Star that kickstarted my career in origami and it is quite a surreal moment to think that if that never happened I wouldn't be making this video. You won't see what you're about to see and um, all the models behind this piece of paper. Um, but it's, it's amazing what, or, what origami is, how it can bring so many people together, how you can make so many friends um, through the art of paper folding. Um, think that this sheet of paper, near every model behind this sheet of paper that I'm holding, started off like this, one uncut square. Two of the models are modular, um, but the rest are from, uh, three of them actually, four of them. Um, but near enough, every single one started off as one square. And with the determination, the love for folding um, anything as possible, any design, any idea, any imagination, with the right paper, with the right practice, the right experience, the right colour, you can make anything that you want. And this is the collection video for Fearless Flux. Why am I speaking third person? For myself, um, that I haven't done in over 10 years. I've done a last collection video. Um, it's been, I don't know why I haven't done one. I really have no idea why I haven't done a collection video. And near ten, but over 10 years, it has been way, way, way too long. And the idea for this was collection, um, collection videos or not of videos, collection pictures are something that never gets done. It never gets done. This idea was a video. No, this idea was about making a video to get everyone involved to take uh, their collection pictures. Now, if you have seen that video, I made it a few weeks ago, the idea is simple. Get all your models on one table, on one surface, and take pictures of them and share them all on the same day. That is the, the idea, the plan. And if you haven't seen it and you're watching this for the first time, if you want, take pictures of your collection, share them everywhere, tag me. I would love to make a reaction video of a lot of collection pictures, even, even videos as well. If you have the option to make a video, make a video. If you don't, don't. Um, if you do make a video, let me know so I can uh, download it, record it, react to it. Um, I would love to see everyone's amazing work and art the passion and the love that they put into all the models and one picture, one, no, I'll say more than one picture but and one sitting on the same table on the same surface. It's just fantastic. I would love to see everyone's collection so if you're watching this you have to do a collection post and um, yeah that is it everyone. Let's get to
you enjoyed a little cinematic slow motion uh, smooth footage of showing the majority of this uh, again there's a little selection of models that I could that I wanted to put on the table um, and just showcase that is basically the idea now if you're wondering when you're watching the first part um, Grant why is there why is there a sheet of paper and with the collection video.
that's not really a model. Now, for those that know, maybe only a few people, uh, because I only shared this to my Instagram groups, I'm not posted the pictures yet publicly, I will do it in the video, but this sheet of paper is for a model that doesn't exist, that may not ever exist, but whether or not the, this paper, there's four sheets, there's four of them, and they rolled up to preserve it. There are four sheets, 80 centimetres, about 160 centimetres in total. Whether or not this paper gets combined and used will be at the, the decision of Satoshi Kimiya for, of course, the 4.0. Now, if the 4.0 ever gets designed, only Kimiya will know this is the paper for it. Um, this has been planned for weeks, practiced, tested, and it was finished about a month ago. The last sheet, it took about five days per sheet to make. It was quite a hectic process, simply because I used a lot of gold powder, and I wanted this to be flashy, crazy, um, and I, I, I believe I acquired it all, but whether or not this paper collects dust for eternity, Forever will be up to Kimia. And only time and Kimia himself will let the answer out. But yeah, that is the reason for this paper. I wanted to include not only models, but of course paper as well. And if you've seen the picture of my offcuts, like this little blue sheet of El Wichi right there. It's a unique way to display paper. Um, if you create your own paper, your own colours, your own styles, everything, showcase it. It's much more beautiful to have it as art with models. Um, it's a unique feature that I don't think anyone does. Not a single person uses their offcuts that creates paper to showcase it. I think it's so beautiful. And another thing that I have included here, not only of course the models I've made, uh, some of them that I've made, but others that I never made from my fans. Um, it's been, I wanted to include something really special, like this little water droplet. How fancy is that? You know, it's a special moment in time when you can include your fans' folds. Not only fans, that they were, and now amazing friends. Um, that their work, their love, their passion, their determination is a part of this collection. It's, I, I can't describe the feeling that, I, that, I, that I'm feeling, um, that I've always felt when I received their works, it's just, it's a beautiful moment to have their love in my possession, that I can take care of their models, display them, showcase, it's such a beautiful thing. And of course this awesome crane that I loved. There, this was a fantastic job by Cameron, he has a YouTube channel, Cam T Origami, make sure to go subscribe to him, he made a video of where uh, he sent me models so check it out and um, go subscribe to them and all the others it's just fantastic yeah, yeah I don't really have any more to say oh wait I do actually have more to say um, so what inspires me when seeing everything together is all the colours all the different paper all the sizes and um, I like how I can decide I'm going to make a big phoenix or a deer head and then I'm going to go and make a tiny little insect. So as an origami artist you can decide what paper to use, what colour.
colour, what size. If you haven't made your own paper, if you haven't started to create your own paper, your own colours, it is something you really should try. And I stress this to the max. Um, I've said it so many times that it opens so many doors for models to make. For example, this leaf, this leafy sea dragon. See if I couldn't make this paper, that wouldn't have been made. If I could make the paper for the lobster, that wouldn't be made. Um, the rattlesnake wouldn't be made. So paper like this is only available if you can make it. Learn how to make it, experiment with colours, experiment with different types of paper, how to apply the colours. Everything is a unique process and when you figure out what works, what doesn't, you can combine those ideas into a finished sheet. This dice wouldn't be possible, the camel spider wouldn't be possible, the dragon egg wouldn't be possible, simply because all of these models, these colours were what I wanted to use in the final sheet, these colours were what I wanted to capture in the thickness, everything about each of these different types of paper are different to the rest and the ability to acquire that knowledge, put it into practice and then create the finished sheet is what gives you the option to create whatever type of paper that you want. So I would highly recommend learn how to create paper, it opens up so many doors Many of these models wouldn't be possible because the paper that I could envision, that I wanted to use with the sizes, the thicknesses, wouldn't be possible. I didn't want to use double tissue for every model. I wanted to spice things up and use exotic colours, different textures, thicknesses. All the ideas that I wanted to use in a sheet, no one sold and the colours that resembled, the paper was way too thick not big enough, too small, too big, whatever. So, there's so much flexibility that you have when you create paper. Because you can make whatever you want, whatever size, whatever colour, and it goes on and on. And another thing, I do want to make more insects that have the colour changed shell, I think it's such a unique finished result um, even though it's not part of the design, simply meaning the shell isn't a natural colour change, I still think it's a beautiful process um, and the result is always fascinating to see. And number two, I want to make more kusadamas, more modulars yeah, more modules, not because of damage, that's the same thing. Because I could picture having a modular, 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 all the way around. I can't, I can't even say that right. But to have big models, more are about, it's a really, I think it's something that I've missed. I've not always wanted to do it, but now that I see everything together, modulars is what I need to make more of colour changed insects and more, I don't know, what do you think I need to make more of to add to this collection? I think more animals, I don't really have animals, um, I do have Shuki's camel ready to be made, um, I think that's the only animal I have to make. But yeah, that is it, I hope you enjoyed this collection, it's been quite some time since I have made one. Um, Hopefully the next one won't be in 10 years, in 2033, wow, no chance, no chance, I'm, I'm going to be firing out models 